Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mr. Agree. Uh, you, some of you might know me from making one of the very first few ELS scripts for 5M. Uh, today, I'm going to be going over how to install my newer lighting system that's so much better, um, ELC, uh, Emergency Lighting Control. Uh, there's really not a whole lot to it except for installing some metas for vehicles. But other than that, let's let's just get right into it. So one of the things I did do for this script that I didn't do for ELS is document. Um, there's a lot of documentation here. Um, we'll go over a little bit of it as well. Um, if you come across this video after publish date and there's like a different version and things seem different, um, use the guide. Video is here just to make things a little bit easier on you. Things might change um, if that does happen. Please uh, follow, follow the guide. Um, oh, with that said, let's let's get right into it. As you can see, for installing the script, there's literally only three steps. Um, quite quite simple. So let's pull up the few folders that. So over here on the right, I got my server with. Uh, resource folder. Go ahead, go in there. Uh, you'll get a, a zip, uh, zip file similar to this. Um, go ahead, extract that. I would recommend changing the name to make sure it's just ELC 5M. Makes it a whole lot simpler. In there, we got the ELC Discord shortcut. You can double click that, join the Discord for any support, suggestions. Say you want to get more patterns than what's offered by default. Get that all there. Um, another shortcut for the documentation page as well. Um, other than that, there's not a whole lot with the resource. Go ahead, drag and drop it into the resource folder. Now, the things to know about EOC this is going to be a paid resource. Um, the reasoning behind that is to ensure that we keep the code as good as we can and it also. It incentivizes me to to want to keep this best best for the the script, um, adding new features, that kind of thing. There is going to be a kind of unique pricing structure. Um, I'm going to touch on that just real quick before we get in any more into this. Um, there is going to be a one time uh, purchase option that gives you all the updates. Um, it's going to be a little bit more on the pricier side. There is going to be a monthly uh, option that's cheaper, but it will still get you all the updates, um, no additional fees, anything like that. And then there's going to be another plan that is just one version. And whenever you want to upgrade, you have to pay an additional price for that version. Um, doing it this way, it, it helps me because it shows me how you guys value my time um, and it makes sure that I can value yours by giving you the best product that I can. Uh, with that in mind, this script is encrypted. Uh, the only real file you can be editing is the config.lua. This not only helps for when it comes to support, but it makes sure that I know exactly what code does what uh, front to back, as if it was the back of my hand. Um, there, there's documentation for the config. Um, biggest thing to note is the maximized performance. If you're having lag issues or your resource time is high, um, set this to true. It will make your life much, much more enjoyable with this script. Um, other than that, the script can automatically detect any patterns that are in the patterns folder and any VCF files that are in the VCF folder. If for whatever reason you want to disable a group of patterns or a vehicle, just append dot disabled onto the end of the file, and then that will disable it from loading. On um, patterns, I didn't realize how many of you guys actually loved custom patterns in ELS uh, up until I removed them. Uh, 
this is here to stay. I, I love it this way because since it is a new script, there's going to be so much new stuff. It is going to be limited on patterns at the start. Um, there will be a pattern sharing uh, Discord channel where you, you can share the JSON files for, uh, for any patterns that you make. And once a month when we do the updates, um, that like I'll go through it, that channel and I'll pick out either community's most reacted uh, patterns uh, or what I find to be the most interesting patterns and I'll include them with credits into the base install of the, the script. Um, so when you go to update the script, the only things that you should re be replacing is everything except for the VCF folder and your patterns folder and your config unless we add a new config option. Um, other than that, the patterns um, are pretty simple, just the name of the MISC, and then one being the light is on, zero being the light is off. You can make these as, as long as you can, um, or as long as you want. That's essentially it for installing the script. Pretty simple. Um, the hard part of ELC is the resource um for vehicles the specifically the metas um we go to the metas page fair warning um if you edit this file or any of the meta files and you happen to you happen to have broken something um there's only so much that we can do um please know what you are doing ahead of time before you're modifying any of the uh any of the metadata uh, stuff just because it, it will make it harder to debug any problems that you have. Um, with that in mind, ELC does not touch the vehicle.meta. It is nice to have the flags listed here in the vehicle class here. That's really just because why not be consistent with all the other vehicles that are already in the game that have sirens. Um, other than that, only the car variations and the car calls are required for ELC. Uh, that being said, it's pretty simple. We'll include for every vehicle that we release, um, we'll include the VCF, which every uh, vehicle developer should do. Um, so that is going to be unique per vehicle. And then for us specifically, the default vehicles that you can get with the, with the script um we're going to include it i believe we'll end up including it as just a resource itself one vehicle to one resource um but we'll make sure to have these available which there also are on the documentation page uh, so installing the vehicles are as simple as just dragging uh dragging the model into the stream folder and then after that dragging the whole resource um, resource over to the server resource file. Um, that, that's simple. Um, if you add, want to add more vehicles, um, it's as simple as just copying the item. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Uh, it's as simple as copying the item and then adding it one, one line down. I think the car meta, it includes the mod kit that ELC will use. Do not change the name um, unless you plan to change the name also in the car variations file. Uh, if you do any more edits to the car meta, please know what you are doing. Um, other than that, that really is the installation of ELC. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to get my game up and running. I'll show you what uh, what ELC looks like with uh, maximized performance disabled. Um, then I'll also show you it with maximized performance enabled. All right, now that we're here in game, um, I'm just going to kind of roll through a quick little demo. Um, I have the resource monitor up here down in the corner. That way you guys see what performance is like uh, ahead of time. Uh, fair warning though, this will be different per machine. Uh, if you have a potato, it 
may not run quite as well. Uh, little note too with performance, it's always going to be better when you're outside of a vehicle. Um, when you're inside of a vehicle, it, it has to do a little bit more processing. Um, not a whole lot, but it does add a little bit of overhead. That in mind, let's go ahead, let's get the light bar on this vehicle. And then let's demonstrate. Um, so with maximized performance disabled, uh, so in the config that would be set to false, we give off uh, environmental lights. That causes a lot of performance issues um, just because it, it's, a, it's a lot to handle. Um, so let's go ahead, we'll start enabling lights. Oh, it also it helps if I restart the script. <laughs> we'll give it just a second. There we go. Environmental lights. Uh, they are going to be a little bit less good looking on recording. That's, that's just going to be because they are flashing. Uh, ELC does have front and rear lighting uh, just because it does offer a little bit more role play scenarios. Makes it a little bit more fun. Um, but so that that kind of gives you an idea of uh, what what to expect performance wise um, with maximized performance on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re enable that. I'm going to tab over real quick. I'm going to turn back on maximized performance. Back over here. Go ahead and restart the script. Go ahead, hop in the vehicle, and we'll give you a little bit of an idea of what uh, performance is like without. Um, so this is all all lights going. As you can tell, no environmental reflections. I personally, I'd rather have performance over the environmentals. As you can see it quite literally cuts it in half. Um, another cool feature about ELC, uh, the panel can actually be moved. Um, kind of just something cool buttons on the panel actually work uh, so we can toggle on and off the different uh components um the only things that don't work currently are the whale yelp auxiliary uh siren and the air horn everything else uh does work uh, yeah, that, that's essentially all I want to demo for you guys. There are a lot more options. Um, the config file has quite a few. I'm always going to add more um, config options just because it is limited um, of what you can actually edit in the script. Um, so if you want a different option, if you want something like that, let me know. One of the big things is keybinds. You can change them to whatever you want. Um, you want to use... ELS, like single player keybinds, go for it. Um, this is also how it handles uh, controller inputs. The script does not do anything specific for controllers. So if you don't have anything here, it's not going to have any controller support. So go ahead, bind, uh, bind controller stuff into the secondary slot. Uh, it's a little finicky to get it into the, like to actually save. Um, but honestly, it's so worth it to have such, such cool lighting. Um, really, it, it's just remarkable what you, what you can do when you end up having 26 individual lights. Um, granted, some of the lights on this vehicle are paired. All, uh, 16, uh, lights on the top light bar are, are separate, but, um, that, that's how you install. That's how uh, you install the metas. That's really all I got for you guys. Um, again, any suggestions, leave them in Discord. Um, I, I'd love to see any patterns you guys create that you come up with. Uh, really, yes, this script is paid. But uh, at the end of the day, I'm still doing this for the community. I want to add what you guys want. So, uh, so let me know. Uh, Without that, uh, have fun. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bye.